interesting topic. So let's start. First of all, anatomical and physiological dead space. Look, when we inspire, when we inhale the gases, the the gases in the air, they pass through either our nostrils or our mouth from from this area, from the pharyngeal area, and then from there to the trachea, and then bronchi, then all the way down to the bronchioles. And normally, what happens is this area, the nose and the pharynx and the trachea and the bronchi, this is normally just the conducting area. And why is that important for us to know? Conducting zone or conducting area? because there is no gaseous exchange that occurs here. Why is that important for us to know? Because when we will be doing calculations, it is important to understand where is the gaseous exchange not happening and then use that in our, in our calculation. Also, we will see that in areas where the gaseous exchange should occur, sometimes those areas also are not functioning properly and we have to calculate the problem in that area as well. We will do that all together today. So, conducting area are the areas where the gas exchange is not happening, just conduction of the gases is happening. Then we reach a point where we have something called respiratory zone, respiratory zone. And what is that? This is the area where gaseous exchange can actually happen. What does that mean? This is the area which has terminal, terminal bronchiole, bronchiole not bronchi, terminal bronchiole are thin enough that they can allow the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange to occur. Then alveolar ducts, so these are alveolar ducts terminal bronchioles, alveolar ducts, alveolar ducts, alveolar sacs. So, this area is called alveolar sac and then individual alveoli, alveolus, alveolus. This all is called the respiratory zone. Why is it called the respiratory zone? Because gaseous exchange can happen here. So, that means the whole airway can be divided into two proper anatomical segments. One segment that just conducts the air and it does not participate in gaseous exchange and the other segment where the gaseous exchange actually happens. The anatomical area where gaseous exchange does not happen is called is called anatomical dead space. And what does a dead space mean? Dead space means that air is present to have the exchange happen, blood is present there as well. This is anatomical, I am not talking physiological, I am not talking pathological conditions, anatomical. Blood is present as well, but the wall between the blood and the gases is so thick. So, if there is a blood vessel here, the wall between the gases that are here and the RBCs that are sitting here, this wall is so thick that gaseous exchange is not possible. So, all such areas collectively are called anatomical dead space. It is the part of the airway that does not